So two weeks ago, I made this video about the future of Fire Sticks and blocking third party streaming applications, which provide access to unlicensed content. Now, it was just a theory or a hunch, but we can see I mentioned. So the options you have is you can still launch it for now, or you have the option to uninstall it. So I'm guessing they're going to give you a grace period. Maybe you can use it for a number of days or maybe a couple of weeks. But and if you keep ignoring the message, this is the key maybe the point. next one will be more severe where it will just disable your application, which means you can now no longer use this on your device. So I suspected that after giving you that warning for a week or so, a couple of weeks, eventually they would just double down and block this application. So this message where we can see on the screen where it says launch anyway, we can see now directly on my third generation Fire TV Cube. As of the 11th of December, we can see I've got a couple of applications which have the warning triangle like before. But now when I press the select button, three, two, one, we can see now the ability to launch anyway has now been removed. The only option we have now is to either uninstall it or dismiss it and just shut the application down. So it does look like what I suspected actually came true. And unfortunately for more and more of these applications, they're now going to get this message. So what can we do? Well, firstly, I do have the brand new version of App Cloner, the latest version, which has lots of new features, which the developer has kindly shared with me. Now we'll be sharing that with you in this video. And secondly, I do want to try a couple of different methods to see what we can do if you find one of your favorite applications is now showing up as disabled or blocked. So let's back out of this. So we can see here now, this is the new version of App Cloner. Let's open that up. Now it may look like the same version that you're used to, the one that was removed from the Amazon App Store, but you can tell it's the brand new version straight away because when you try to clone an application, let's press the select button there. We now have multiple options, multiple cloning options, helping you overcome some of the limitations where certain applications can be a little bit tricky when you try to clone them. So lots of new options have been added. Now let's back out of this. Now the first example I want to try, or the first thing I want to try is the easiest method, which doesn't involve App Cloner, which is basically just to uninstall the application and then reinstall it. So here, for example, we can see again, this application is disabled for me. Let me now uninstall that. Click on OK. I have no idea if this is going to work. I'm doing this in real time, but just to see what options we have and which ones could potentially work for your application. OK, the application is now disabled. Let's now go to Downloader. I do already have this application ready to install again, just for testing purposes. Here we are. Let's click on that. Click on Install. Let's see if that installs first time. And then let's see if I get the warning straight away, because again, maybe if it gives you a week grace period, then Maybe that's just the fix. So you install the application, you use it for a week. After a week, you start getting the triangle, getting the warnings. You can then uninstall it, reinstall it again, and you have another week of usage. I know it's a little bit frustrating, but for many people, it may just be the quickest and simplest way to keep using your favorite applications. Okay, let's click on done. Let's now press the home key. Let's now go to my app library, which we can see here. Has that worked? We can see that has worked because this is the new application. I can now press the select button there. Oh, okay, it hasn't worked. Sorry, so apologies. So that hasn't worked because the reason why I thought it had worked was I didn't see any triangle. You can see it doesn't have a triangle. But if I try to launch it. Okay, so we can see in this example that is a failure. It means that you cannot actually follow this process for this application. And installing it and reinstalling it is not going to help in this particular case. Let's back out of that. Now, before we continue, let me just quickly share this QR code that if you are looking for a fantastic offer for a ridiculously fast VPN, stay safe online, change your IP address, access geo-locked content, protect your privacy, you definitely want to go ahead and scan this QR code for a superb discount. Let's now go to the App Cloner. Let's go down. Let's find the blocked application. Now, the great thing about this new version of App Cloner is it actually tells you or shows you which ones are your cloned applications. So we can see some of the testing I've been doing it before. You can see they are clearly marked as cloned. And this is the original application, which we know is still currently blocked. Let's now press the select button there. OK, so I'm going to do this option, which is re-sign it without changing the package name. And let's see if that actually does something. So let's click on that. OK, let's uninstall that first. So you can see, guys, he has added in other options and he said some of the other applications that were failing before, they do actually work with this new updated version. So he has done a fantastic job. Let's click on uninstall original. 
do you want to uninstall this? Let's uninstall that. Okay, that's now uninstalled. The new one's now installing. Let's go back in. And is this going to work or is this also going to be disabled first time? The other great thing about App Cloner, the new version is it actually shows you the package name now when you click on the application. So let's see what's happened here. I don't know if the package name would have changed. Let's click on that. Okay, that at the top for me, I think that's still the original name. Let's now try to launch the application. And would you believe it guys, that is now launched. So what a great fix to this problem. So now I have tried to clone this application before, and I think lots of you also tried to do this and the application does clone successfully, but when you try to click on something and the way you know it's not gonna work is if you don't see the thumbnail here, that means it's not gonna work. But we can see in my example, I do see the thumbnail. I can go to videos. I can click on play, click on play again. And we can see in a couple of seconds that starts streaming straight away. That's working absolutely fine. Let's back out of that. So that's one method we can use now with the new version of App Cloner. Let's go back. So we can see the other options he has is the standard clone, which is does a basic clone like before. You got the clone, but you, you keep the application ID. So if some application looks for the original application ID, this will keep it. Then you got an experimental one where you can see it intercepts any requests for the package name and then tries to reroute it to the custom name. So again, I think he's done a fantastic job and he did tell me that he has lots of new features, lots of new updates planned. So again, make sure you guys are subscribed with all notifications. And when he does release a new version, which is going to be more compatible, have even more features, I'll let you guys know straight away. But we can see for this particular problem with that particular application using this option here, which is the modify app. Again, if you do find a blocked application, you have multiple options now you can try for your particular use case. Another thing that he said was fixed was the crashing. So if you notice the application was crashing before, again, try the new version. Hopefully that will also address the crashing problem. So let's back out of this. Now to get to the latest version for all of your devices, if you just press the home button, just open up Downloader and you can now navigate to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can type in the short code 534 zero two and this will take you directly to my website let's click on go now when you get to my site head over to the hamburger menu which is one of the three lines click on that click on tutorials and we should see right near the top we have the new latest version of app cloner let's click on that here we can see some information about the application keep scrolling down and you're looking for this download button here now, the developer has given me permission to host his website. I did ask him and he said that the link that I have will always take you to the latest version of this application. So make sure you're always downloading it from this page to ensure that you have the latest version. Let's click on that now. And this will install the latest version directly onto your device. I mean, overall, guys, I know this is going to become or it is a cat and mouse game. So new methods come out, new workarounds. Amazon then get involved. They block things. They stop things then other methods come out, other alternatives. So for the people that are enjoying this cat and mouse game, then I guess for you, you can carry on. I'll be sharing all of the latest workarounds. I'll be sharing all of the latest tips and tricks. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you are subscribed with all notifications. But for other people who are just fed up of this cat and mouse game, of course, you have other options with Android TV devices where although they are also going down a similar path, I don't think they'll be as aggressive as Amazon. And I do think some of the workarounds on Android TV would just be a lot easier to implement than some of the, the fudging we have to do on Amazon devices. But ultimately, it's up to you guys. The only thing I will suggest that if you're accessing that kind of content, the best way to protect yourself on all of your devices is to ensure that you are using a VPN because when you use a VPN, especially with this new feature, as you can see with the new icon, it now has RAM only servers. So it basically means there is no storage, no disk, no holding of any data. Everything is held in memory. It gives you really fast connections, gives you really good speed, and it ensures that your ISP can't throttle you or slow down your connection. I've been using this for more than five years now. It really is the best VPN. I personally recommend if you want to check it out, do have a look in the video description and pinned comment for a fantastic special offer. Really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.